It started six years ago. What happened is I had gone to an antique show in uh, 2013 with a photo of my grandfather, my great-grandfather, and, and through the course of that antique show, I found a dealer that I spoke to, and, and uh, he identified him and said he was a World War I and he was a sapper. He could get files from, of soldiers, so I said, okay, get me the, the, the file on my, on my great-grandfather. Uh, and that's, uh, that's where it started. So all of a sudden I've got this family and, and then it started, it went from my grandfather's family and I just kept expanding, expanding every year. And consequently, uh, through, through connections, I was able to build it to where I have it now. 19, 18, 19, 20, and they're, and they're killed. They're, they go to war and they're, a year later they're dead. So I thought I have to just make a point of remembering who they are and doing a little something so that I know who they are, you know, and that's what's important to me. I know who they are and, and I feel that I'm doing a little paying respect to them for what they gave us. So. I think about it as almost like as if I was there, you know, and, and, the, and the devastation that the families felt for their, for their sons or their, their husbands or their brothers or sisters uh, that were over there and, and didn't come home. I mean, lots came home, but a lot didn't. It's important to me as a, as a, as a thing to do on, uh, on this month, on this week or this month of remembrance. So. How did I find Reuben? I don't know, to tell you the truth. Um, it, it's a long story, but I got an information from somebody that there was a relative by that name uh, involved in, in, in a war, and he's buried in South Africa. And I went online and I tacked in his name, and if I didn't behold, I found him. So then I thought, well, I found Reuben, but now I have to find his family to see if he's connected to me. I read a story about the Boer War and this particular place, and it said that there was this old-timer caretaker, some 70, 80, 60, 70 years old, went out to this cemetery every year and, and cleaned the weeds and painted the crosses and on and on. So I sent him a letter and asked him if he would look and see if there was a Reuben. And, and a letter came back, and actually the guy, the fella had died. And, and it was Gerhardt that answered the letter. And there's 32, there's 32 souls there, and one of them is my, a descendant of mine, and he, he died there. So every year he goes and he places a wreath on the grave for me. So it was, it, it was a journey, but it was an a, a emotional journey too, because every time I got a bit closer, it got, you know, like you're right, at, right you know right away this, this, you have this connection, at least I do. I have this connection to these people, my, my, my relatives. Like, I have a connection to him now, it, personally, you know. So it's important to me, that's all.